And we start right now with 7 News reporter Don Champion, who's live in Connecticut with an Aurora Theater survivor now coping with another tragedy. Don? And the man was biking around the country in July when he stopped for a movie in Aurora, a night that changed his life forever. Friday, he did not have to travel far for another tragedy. It hit right here in his own community. Stephen Barton doesn't want to believe where he is standing. The last thing I thought would happen is that this gun violence would, would strike so close to home. The growing memorial of flowers and teddy bears outside Sandy Hook Elementary. Painful reminders of five months ago in the Aurora Theater shooting. Especially in being able to really put myself in that moment, you know, just imagining what it was like in that school. It is a sensitivity few can relate to, but after recovering from a shot to the neck during the theater tragedy, and now while walking familiar roads toward the site of new heartache, Stephen has more reason to push for change. Our country is long overdue for a serious discussion about guns, about mental health. A message he's now pushing with his work at Mayors Against Illegal Guns, a gun prevention group. Fix our background check system and you'll make it a lot harder for criminals to, to get uh, illegal guns. And while he admits gun reform might not have been enough to save these lives in Newtown, to Stephen. There's a way to, to balance our Second Amendment rights to, uh, to bear arms against public safety. When you're grieving where he is, there can be no other choice. I'm hopeful that uh, these children will not have died in vain, you know, that, that something will happen. Stephen is from Southbury, which is about five miles or so from here. He'll actually be in Colorado next month pushing for more gun reform, telling me tonight that his new line of work is actually therapeutic in the wake of all he's been through. We're live in Newtown, Connecticut tonight. Don Champion, 7 News.